Template formulas are used to create various templates which can be reused later in formulation. Animal groups and animal breeds can have the same base formula, a formula that is used as the origin for other formulas. For instance, all animal formulas for the group named X always have the same requirements. Similar dry matter requirements, same crude protein, crude fiber, ash, energy, and similar nutrient requirements. Or, when we create a formula for a specific client, we always have similar or same raw materials. For example, for client A, we always put wheat, corn, barley, sardine meal, soybean meal, and other raw materials. If that is the case, we should be able to create template formulas and then reuse them later. In this example, for my client A and for his animal group B, I always put oats, wheat, and corn, and I always check dry matter, crude protein, and fat with the requirements of 89%, 12%, and 6%. And that is my code, template CT1001, with the version 1 and name template for client A. Formula batch size will be the same by default and we will not use the carrier. Our animal group is, for example, aqua. When we want to create a new formula, there is a new option along with add new, and it is add from template. We will select a template, for example, pet food template in our database, and there's a template for client A, and we can start from here. We have a base formula to start with. We can now add a new name because this is a full formula and not a template anymore. We can add a new code, a new name, and save it as a completely new formula. For example, code 1001 with the formula ABS. When we save that formula, it appears in the database and on the dashboard. That is how we can create a template and use template formulas.